match of the day presenter Gary Lineker has taken to Twitter to respond after Spring Watch host Chris Packham issued a call for his help after a disturbing video of West Ham player Kurt Zuma allegedly kicking his cat and slapping it around was released yesterday. The wildlife presenter, 60, asked for a favor from the BBC sports broadcaster, 61, while branding the West Ham players' actions not something in any way, space, or form acceptable. In view of his 528,000 followers, the former Everton footballer responded to the wildlife experts' video. Gary wrote, Hi Chris, I'm sure you saw my tweet yesterday. I hope the relative authorities will take the required action. As you say it was an awful act of cruelty on that poor cat, he ended his reply. Yesterday, the Springwatch star posted a video directly appealing for help from the pundit. Chris said, Hello Gary, Chris Pack come here. Very sadly we've never met, I've always been a great fan of yours, of your play on the field and your work subsequently. I particularly like the way you stand up robustly for issues, drawing attention to things that we need to think about more widely, so top work on that account. But the fandom has to stop there, he said, as he finished gushing over the star. Chris went on, I want to call upon you if I may to ask a favor. Us that work within the environmental wildlife and animal welfare world and I know you've helped us before, thank you very much for reposting the tweet about the snaring campaign that we're running at the moment. But it will have come to your notice I'm sure that a premiership footballer playing for West Ham has allegedly been kicking his cat and slapping it around in front of children in what appears to be his kitchen. This is, I'm sure you will appreciate, a very serious issue. He went on, footballers have always been seen as role models and people try to live up to the high standards that you set and very sadly, on occasion, they live down to the low standards that are set by similarly influential sports people. The wildlife expert went on to ask the sports broadcaster to exercise his influence over the matter in the sporting community. Chris continued, so can I ask you to use whatever influence you have, please, to raise this issue amongst the football community, the sports community, and particularly with the Premiership and any contacts that you have at West Ham. It's really important at this stage that we draw attention to the fact that this is a crime and it is not something that is in any way, space, or form acceptable. Anything you can do to help would as usual be greatly appreciated I do hope that we can meet one day and share some thoughts about some of our worldly outlook, he ended his video. Yesterday, Gary reposted a tweet from chief football writer at the Sunday Times, Henry Winter, stating that West Ham had unreservedly condemned the footballer for kicking his cat. Gary wrote, I should think so too. Following Gary's response, Chris wrote back thanking the star, Thanks Gary, investigations are in play and are being taken very seriously. I'm sorry that he, and those that put him on the pitch last night, have damaged the reputation of the sport you love so much. Animal abuse must not ever be sidelined at the expense of entertainment, he penned. Agreeing, Gary once again replied, I agree wholeheartedly. Let's hope action is taken and at the very least the cat is found a safe and loving home.